Hello everybody, it's uh, Jimmy Silix, aka the Sea Monkey 420 Back actually with a fan requested remake, I guess, of one of my more popular PS3 remote play on a non viejo Windows 7 PC um, Basically this guide is just to show you that you can do this totally on Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, and Windows 7 um, I'm running 64-bit Windows 10 Pro on a Surface Pro 2 there you go, my pretty green start menu. Let's see here, we can do that. Oh, there, everything nicely. So the original guide is still accurate and everything is true. Just download the software, run it, copy the patch files over and be sure to run the launcher, not the original file. So here we go. First off, we're gonna install and play. Uh, my current PS3 is the latest running, let's check here. I'm running uh, firmware 4.75 on my PS3 as of August uh, 18th, I think, two, no, 17th, 2015. Okay, so there we go, that's installed now. Okay, we have our awesomeness that is installed. Oh, now this is the error message everyone gets, it's because you run the shortcut to the vrp.exe, not this rmplauncher.exe. So next thing we want to do is copy these over to the program directory where it got installed. C, program files. Then you want to go to Sony, remote play, then just paste them in here. Yep. It asks for administrator rights, which you have to do because it's program files folder, which is blah blah blah. Permissions and all that good stuff. So here again, this is what the shortcut runs. We don't want to run that. We want to run this, rmp underscore launcher.exe. So let's hit this sucker here. Okay, next. This is just a name that shows up on your PS3 as a registered device. And now we want to go to the PS3 and remote, underneath settings, remote play settings, registered device, PC of course. Now get a nice code we'll want to put in. By the way, these codes are unique and only during the session timeout you have of 300 seconds. So you can try using my code, but it won't work, I promise. Unless you randomly get that code generated on your PS3 too, which would be pretty bizarre. So basically that's it. My uh, PS3 says register completed. Now I gotta go with my PS3 over to network, remote play. Start it on the PS3 there. So it goes in remote play mode, you get a screen. Now we'll connect here. There's my beautiful aquarium anime background, which I really wish they'd bring to the PS4. So yeah, you can do basic stuff. You really can't play many games. Um, so let's see, should we try one? Oh yeah, that's right. Keyboard, you gotta use a uh, key assignments. So let's see, you think The Simpsons would be able to play, right? Nope. How about Blitz? Nope. Not many games let you do it. I think Lair's like the only real bigger name game I know we can. I think um, Flower might be able to, and maybe Journey, but getting a little laggy, input delay. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how you do that. What we can do next here, we'll just shut it down if you want. You can turn it off even, which is cool. This will work on uh, outside your network connection too if you have proper router settings on your PS3 and your internet, home internet connection. So there you go guys. Um, basically the key thing is, you know, you just gotta... Okay, we'll do this. You just basically gotta change the shortcut to be to point to the launcher file. Here's a really cool trick. When you're in Windows Explorer and you want to get the exact path of where this file is located like this RMP launcher.exe, hold down Control shift and then right click on that file. You get an option now to... Oh, they took it away. Never mind. They usually give an option to... Um... Oh wait, I'm trying to get it here. Copy location. Oh, there we go. Copy as path. Okay, my bad. Now here we'll just go to what I did there is I just went to the shortcut in the all apps and uh, browsed 
open file location, which is the shortcut itself. We're just going to modify the shortcut itself to point to that launcher. So target, quote, wait, no quotes need, we just do a paste. After we do that copy path, we're good. Apply. Yeah, we know. Icon changes, of course, but you can change that back to the ICO file if you wanted to. So now let's launch it. Boom. And you can actually turn on your PS3 this way. I have mine off right now. Um, here we go. That beep was the PS3 turning on. Yep, it's starting up, and what it does when it starts up, it basically goes directly into remote play mode. And if you're wondering about if you use control HDMI, no, it will not turn on your TV and receiver when you do this. So my PS3 is up and going here, so we should have the app here reconnecting. And of course, sign in with your PSN ID. You can always check the box there, but nonetheless, working, working, working. The main thing again, change that shortcut to run the RMP underscore launcher, not the VRP.exe. This is the official one. This will give you that error message all day long. So, anywho, hopefully I helped everyone out. Have a great time. Post comments, uh, rants, hates, whatever. It's cool. It's the internet. And uh, maybe some other things you'd like me to do videos on. Anywho, peace.